2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 10. The Bible said, Who delivered us from so great a death and doth deliver in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. There was a failed attempt to bomb one of our churches in Kaduna yesterday. Amen. This agent of the devil already entered the premises. Found his way to the toilet. But who delivered us from so great a day? Was accosted and arrested. Amen. One, that's a proof that God is in our midst. He said, the Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over you with singing. He will rest in his law. A vivid proof that God is in the midst of his people. And we are here not to assume, but to celebrate his faithfulness. And to tell this nation, as they will expect me to do. The last straw that will break the back of everybody in authority back in these callous killings has come. Yeah. To tell everyone behind this, your days are numbered. This prophet is saying the kingdom is taken away from you. It's impossible for these killers to be on the loose without some authority backing them up. Teno pika shigi alota redo se keria le pako taprene zezia kaka kata kradi ane prodi ane sano e yesho barade so many precious lives have been wasted in the last two weeks. And in the name of Jesus, the generations of those involved is declared wasted. I don't care Boko Haram, Metiala, whatever name you are called, I, call, I decree the curse of the Lord upon you now. Everyone in government, everyone in security services that is behind these killings, your end has come. Your end has come. Put that on the screen if you have it. Listen to me when I pray, God hears. When I release a cross, it confirms. Anyone involved, anyone connected with these callous killings of an irresponsible system, where people will claim responsibility for killings and will still be walking on the street. Woe betide you. War betide you. Nigeria has never been as vulnerable as this since it became a nation. The most irresponsible, the most murderous system is what we have today. And in the name of Jesus, by the apostolic authority upon my life and the prophetic sea on my forehead, your end has come. Thank you, Jesus. For that great deliverance, let's celebrate God. And as we praise Him, it will set ambushment against them. They will face themselves and clear themselves. Their root is declared rotten. Nothing green will be around them anymore. Their generation will be forgotten. We will chase them back to their land of nativity. 
They are doing this because they are not part of us. They are strangers here. Shego preki aneta. Sezure pokatanora. Esiako pekanu asekona. Shishitapo. Eri pakatane tokolo. Eriaba. Every cause I could not proclaim in English because of the depth of it, I've released it on their head. This commission will never see evil. Remember, you come against the church, you are broken into pieces. The church comes against you, you are grinding into powder. As the law lives, the seats of this evil man are declared vacant. The source of their supply dries up. The same way he turned those three kings against each other. These evil men, they turn against one another today. And let me warn security people. If that man escapes, your destiny is crushed. Thank you, Jesus. But I warned this nation before this evil system came on board. May God have mercy. on the army of rebellious believers. You don't train to become a prophet. You are separated to it by grace of election. They see what you don't see. That's why they call them prophets. Thank God because the end is coming. Their end is coming. Yeah. I resolve the details till our next service. Amen. Yeah. But everything inside me, every grace of my life, is against these killers. Yeah. And they know. They know. They know. Beginning from today, you'll be hearing news. You'll be hearing news of their devastation. News of their sudden death. You'll be hearing it from today. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. He has delivered us from so great a death. What if for any reason they had their way? And those thousands of believers worshiping Jesus, dismembered, destroyed. No, he won't let it. No, he didn't allow it. So they die the death of those they wanted to kill. This cause goes to him. Part on everyone that has to do with them. Yeah. Nigeria will be free again. Yeah. The anger of God will destroy his enemies. Yeah. The church of God will be free again. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. It's impossible for this to be going on without authorities, whatever section of them. Without the leadership, no matter how much they pretend. But any step they take from now against any innocent soul, judgment will answer on their head. Church, Security system, please be on alert. Act down. Any agent of the devil, you find messing around. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Whoa! 
against the wicked. War against their backers. War against their sponsors. War against everyone that wishes them well. Thank you, Jesus. We are not strangers. We are citizens of this country. There are more than 1,000, 10,000 people in this church that are qualified to be president by virtue of capacity and capability, experience. I mean, what is it? How dare you claim you own the nation? Cause me that thought. We own this nation together. With that thought. That pride brings you down. Whosoever you may be and wherever you may be, in the name of Jesus. I'm not an adopted citizen. Born, bred, original. Like many of us who are standing here. Jesus proclaimed war against the hypocrites eight times in one chapter of scriptures. War unto you hypocrites. So war unto every hypocrite in seat of government. War unto your households. War to all that pertains to you. Thank you, Jesus.